Hello everyone, Crypto Knight here and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to check out Warbound again. The demo is still live and the game is due to release later this month, but the devs have been keeping up to date with the community and updating the game, or should I say the demo. And they've recently released an update where the ability to have different map seeds is now available. I'm kind of unhappy with the current playthrough and the current seed. Everything's a little bit sort of mismatch and there are a couple of bugs in my save. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a new journey. So hopefully we can now make a better playthrough, especially now as I've kind of got grips of the game, kind of know what we're doing. So we're going to go on to random world uh, we're not going to go on custom seed although we will probably do a playthrough um sort of when the game comes out we'll try and find a decent seed to do so we'll do a random world and we'll do begin journey because i'm not too happy with the demo world so let's go ahead and we're going to dump we're going to dive straight into it so first things first what we're going to do is we're just going to get a whole load of ore get some smelters down get a little basic base and we're just going to gather ourselves a load of money so we can get the upgrades so we can get some automation going if you have been following the last series or if you haven't we need around seventy-five thousand for the full automation because keep having to top things up with coal is a little bit annoying okay so here we are we are off the ship and we have landed on our seed um it looks like we're surrounded by sort of hills mountains we're in kind of a little bit of a valley which isn't ideal we need to try and find somewhere with a bit more flat land. There is an ancient stone here. Just basically explains that three kings and three gems. And we are basically tasked with seeking out the three ancient relics of the dwarven kind. So we need to seek out the three kingly gems of Elgrod, Gilgrom and Thulgrim. And we need to recover the royal gems. And we need to not get attacked by one of these little things. Which is four we'll grab that for some food but yeah as i was saying we need to recover the three royal gems and make a master rune worthy of the dwarven king so that's going to be the ultimate goal the first goal is going to be finding some flat land so i'm going to do a little bit of exploration i'm going to grab some wood and bits and pieces on my way through we're going to try and find a nice big bit of flat land okay so i think this might be a nice little place i've done quite a little bit of exploring and traveling around the map um this might be a pretty good place it's quite flat around here once we get rid of some of these trees and stones we got a few caves over this way and we've got a few caves over this way for our ores so i think this will be a pretty good place to start we've got some iron here as well that we can quickly grab uh, once we get to our little base situated so i'm just going to get rid of this ball we'll add that to our collection of carcasses and i think what we'll do is we'll start expanding this area here i think this should be our main base of operations nice access to a cave as well so i'm going to get going to having a little bit of a clear out we want to get some foundations down and uh, we can't as of yet get rid of the stone as we have no access to a pickaxe but i to get that out of the way we'll make some room and we'll get some foundations laid out for our base of operations okay so that's um the basics of the foundations down unfortunately i can't place a bit here because it is stone so we need to do a pickaxe now i've got some more resources ready for our upgrade station so we're going to get that built over here first of all um we should be able to place that just there that'll be great and probably put some smelters over here i think um once we unlock this lot here so we do need some iron ore so we are going to need a pickaxe to clear some more um luckily i think we have some iron over here we do so that'll be perfect um we are going to build some stairs as well just so we can get up and down here a little bit easier so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get wooden pillar stairs i think that'll be a, a nice little addition so there we go perfect and then we'll probably do ones down to here as well we'll probably do stairs right the way down and we'll probably build a bridge over to that side as well i think um at some point so let's go ahead and see what we need for the upgrade station so we definitely need a stone pickaxe so we're going to craft one of those we're definitely going to need an axe and we're going to need a shovel as well um we will need the navigator so we need to find some ruby gens and some iron ingots but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so we've got iron pickaxe here which is level two so that's fine okay so now we have a, this we can kind of just pop these into our hotbar so we can switch between them pretty easily and now we're going to go ahead get rid of this 
and then as it's night time i'll do a little bit more preparation in regards to the foundations and getting resources and then when it's daylight we can start sorting out where we're going to have bits okay so we've got 68 iron ore so now we can get the research station and yep we can also get the king's market as well might need some more wood i probably do i'm a little bit short on the wood aspect not by a lot but by a little bit so we'll just grab some wood and then we'll head back and we'll get everything else done okay so we are back with some more resources so we can get everything built now so let's get the research station down i think what we'll do is we'll pop the research station over here i think this should be a nice little place to put it and then we'll also do the same for the king's market we'll put that next door and we'll keep all the smelting and everything all together so that should be a good place for that one so yeah perfect okay so now what we need to do is we need to interact with the king's quest board so we need an upgrade station we need to do two wooden foundations so we'll get that done then we also get a free navigator for this one here so we'll probably go around and collect more wood saves craft in the navigator we get one for free and then we'll probably go ahead and get this one done as well we can complete this iron we've got that one so we'll complete that one um, we complete this one as well should be able to go through these relatively quickly so that's good okay so we need to find some coal ore uh, we need some more wood and i need to build 12 small foundations as well so we're going to go ahead and get these small foundations down um, i'm pretty sure i did the did the same in the last one as well i ended up um not quite understanding that there was a difference between the quests for the large and the small foundations but we're just going to go ahead and pop these down anywhere we can um i believe that's probably 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay. 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 1, that's 3, quick maths. So we'll claim this one and then we'll just, we'll get rid of those because I don't need them. So we'll go ahead and do that and then we can go ahead and swap this and we can just destroy these and get our wood back. But there you go, that's nice and easy. So we need to go ahead and get 100 wood as well so we can get the navigator. But first of all, we're going to see what we need here. So we need 500 coins for this one um we definitely need to do the upgrade station level two as well and um, we will need the ore detection for the coal the ability to locate wood stone coal and iron and uh, we are going to head and get that done as well so let's see what we can do for the king's market we have got 1200 coins so that's pretty good uh, we'll get rid of those oh not sure what's happening there something was kind of bugging out a little bit and we'll put those together Hello. probably get rid of these as well although they're not really worth it for only five coins okay so let's go ahead and get a hundred wood and then what else was it we needed we needed a hundred wood to get a navigator and some coal so i'm going to go and hunt for some wood and coal and hopefully we can get these ones these bits here done as well and that will be the beginning the quest line completely sorted okay so i was searching around for some wood and some coal and i think we just hit the jackpot with all resources so we're not too far away from base it's just over there it seems like we've got a big ore node over there 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 we have got a little camp over here that we can clear out as well so it looks like we've kind of hit the jackpot with this little place we found oh, that's pretty ideal anyway let's um carry on with the quest of finding some wood um i believe i just need a few more bits of coal just trying to find a little cork coal ore node oh we've got some orcs over there we'll probably stay clear of those probably not quite ready for that so as i said there's our base and all the resources are down here so that's pretty good very lucky we found that okay so we're back so let's go ahead and we're going to get all these quests done uh where were we okay that one there we've done that one there we've done so now we have the ore navigator we can use that to detect where the ores are which is pretty good so now we need to do some smelting so we need to build a manual smelter which takes stone and coal so we've got quite a bit of that um we'll probably do four to start with i think um uh, probably need some more stone to do four but yeah i think we should go ahead and do that okay so now we have plenty of resources we can get our smelters built and we can start getting some things in production so use the kick cook up at fine dwarven cuisine don't need that just yet um what we do need to be, do is build a bed so we can set our spawn point we'll probably do a storage chest as well so let's go ahead and try and remember how we get to our smelters um so that's our grade station so build the following a manual smelter okay so let's head over to research we probably need to research it is 
probably what we need to do so automation one 500 okay so we will unlock that because we definitely need that um what else did we want to unlock as well we wanted to navigate or or the coal which is apparently already unlocked so that's pretty handy um we could also do the spit roast so we can do a herb bore because i think that should be a pretty good thing to do so we can get some food so we've got some health that we can fall back on so i think we'll do that as well so that's pretty good okay so now we can get to our smelters done um we're going to put our spit roast over here i think um if i can remember what one it's in so we'll get this done that's wood and stone there we go lovely and we can add our ball on there and start cooking that so now we can go on to our smelters so we're going to build a few of those we're probably going to need quite a few of these so i think we'll just do for now put them in a nice uniform line there we go and then we've got plenty of iron so i've got four stacks of iron so that should be pretty good we'll get those done um we'll sort of split this i think we'll do half a stack that should be fine we'll go ahead and do the same here so we'll pop all of that in and then we've only got a little bit more to go so we'll go ahead and put that in we will split this stack in half a couple of times i think uh, we'll do half again and then we'll just pop the rest in this last one um so there we go that should be pretty much about it for that lot we'll put a navigator over here um so we can go ahead and do that but what i want to do actually is just move these around slightly um we'll put a navigator there and we'll put the pickaxe just there as well so we're going to go ahead and get those smelted uh, what do we need for our quests what did we need we need 25 ingots for that we need to build a blacksmith which we need another 25 for so that shouldn't be too bad we also need to build a bed um and we need 100 coal ore as well we should have completed that before we uh that's kind of annoying before we um put all the coal in there we should have really done that but that's not to worry we can sort that out pretty easily so let's go ahead and get a bed down i think first of all uh, we'll get a nice bed and a little bit of storage just pop the bed here for now and we'll get a storage chest down as well um, can't really see what way around it is in the dark but that should do nicely um, we have got some more iron and we have got some more copper so that's pretty good ah that's because i didn't put the iron in this one well that was a little bit awkward i did think that was a bit odd that we had a little bit more than we needed let's go ahead and cook all this boar and um, we'll definitely eat some of this boar meat as well that will bring our health back up a little bit and then we'll need to go ahead in the cave i think soon once we have we have got some portable ore drills so we'll do that we'll try and find a coal deposit somewhere and we'll just grab a whole load of coal and we can stick it in a storage chest for now i think okay so we need 25 ingots and we get 500 gold coins and this one we need a blacksmith but we need to do the upgrade for that which is 2500 so if we get the coal ore first that will give us 2000 that will enable us to lock unlock this we can get that built and then that should be all of the, those beginner quests all complete so i think while this lot is smelting we'll go ahead and go and find some coal we'll grab that and we'll see what happens so go ahead and we're going to select this and we're going to go for coal ore um uh, no we'll go for an ore deposit i think will probably be the best way so it looks like there is one over in this direction apparently we're sat directly on top of it should be an ore deposit around here somewhere so yeah apparently directly here there should be a coal ore deposit uh apparently just down here so let's go ahead see if we can find it oh we're getting attacked by goblins where are you yeah that's what i thought you stay there out the way i can hear some more footsteps around me somewhere i don't really want to go too far down there because i'll struggle to get back out at this moment in time but it looks like we've got no choice because we've just fell just nearly fell to death okay we got rid of the goblin that's good oh there's another one here attacking me i did not realize he was there oh i've managed to stay alive just good job we've got a load of boar meat and we have got a health potion as well so we'll just drink those and okay so where were we we were looking for coal i'm not sure where the coal deposit kind of disappeared to now and it's definitely not in that direction i think it's more so in this direction nope okay so it is over this direction i think it's going to be over here somewhere i need to try and get back up here if i can there we go okay let's see if we can find where this coal is we're getting closer 
definitely getting closer. Ah, oh, I believe that that's probably going to be it over there. Or is it not? This is quite difficult to use. I found that in the last playthrough as well. I don't really want to try and attack that orc because he's not going to be easy to defeat. We'll switch over to our sword. We'll see if we can hit these guys before we die. I've got a lot, a bit more health than what I have. But let's see if we can... No. Nope. We didn't survive that one, but it's okay. Oh, I didn't sleep in the bed. Oh no, I didn't sleep in the bed. So we've got to try and find where our base was. I know it's in this direction. Okay, so I found my way back to base with the beautiful help of the beacon compass. So we just selected the King Quest board and it brought me straight back here. But first of all, first things first, before we do anything else, we're going to set our spawn point by sleeping in our bed. So that's mission one complete. Now I just picked up some iron um, ingots as well and we have got a whole load of coal. So we should be able to pretty easily you? get the rest of these done. So we're going to go ahead and complete that one. And we're also going to complete this one once we build a portable ore drill. So we do need to build a purple ore drill there is a nice um a little bit of coal over there that we could utilize so what i might do is build some stairs going sort of over here might be a good idea i think we build some stairs going down towards that direction yeah i think we'll do that and then we'll place our portable ore drill over there and that means we've got some pretty decent coal okay so first of all um so yeah i've just built our stairway just down here so we've got access to this level and this level so that's all pretty sorted now we need the portable ore drill for this but unfortunately the portable ore drill comes on to automation two which is two and a half thousand so we're going to need to make some money so what we might have to do is sacrifice some of this iron ingots that we have here um so we're going to go ahead and just grab these and see how much all of this lot's worth because we might need to just sell some of this for now um so how much is this two thousand okay so yeah we can sell 100 iron ingots iron's pretty easy to get we'll have 100 left over which should be plenty for what we need um so we could in fact sell yeah we'll do We'll sell all of them at least then we've got a little bit of money left over and then we can go ahead and research this automation too so that's unlocked and that gives us access to the portable ore drill and we're just getting attacked by another boar so we're gonna get rid of okay see you later then so that's done uh what we can do now is build the purple ore drill so let's just double check we've got everything we need for it this boar has come back to finish me off so come back here so every time i get my sword out you run away Thank you very much. Okay, so what do we need here for the pull wood drill? We need a copper ingots, iron cogs. Uh, iron cogs, we need the blacksmith. So we need to go ahead and purchase the blacksmith there, which is iron ingots wood. Perfect. Okay, so the big question is where are we going to put you? Because we are kind of running out of room now. Um, where can we put you? We could put you over here, I suppose, um, but there's nowhere near kind of where i want you um we could move things around could move you over to here i think yeah okay let's have a little bit of moving around so we'll destroy that for now um we'll place that back down over here we'll change the direction of this one so we'll pop you over there we will destroy you and we'll put you back over here so research station we will build you you can just sit nicely over here everything's going to be a little bit cramped to start with but we will soon sort that out so we'll pop you over there and then we can put the blacksmith over here just there perfect okay so what is it we needed we needed iron cogs wasn't it i believe um yeah so we need five iron cogs for that so we'll pop our gold coin in um we only need five so we just need to do 10 of these because it takes two ingots per cog so we'll do i think i'll work that out correctly or we need one more okay so that should work out as 10 iron cog or five iron cog shall we say so that's done nicely we'll take that coin back for now there we go we can now place our portable drill um no we can't because we need to grab our copper ingots out of here that we made so that's good okay let's head down and we'll get our portable drill down onto this coal that'll keep us going for a little bit so we'll go for portable mining drill we'll pop that there and there we go we need to put some coal into this one um but it should automatically do it i believe um i believe this 
it was a coal deposit. That's good. I'm pretty sure that they used to fill themselves up first. We'll pop these in and we'll toggle it. See what happens. So yeah, you have to put a little bit in to start with, but then it will fill itself up and then it will fill the output up. So that's pretty good. So now that that's all done, we should be able to complete all of the beginner quests um get ourselves a little bit more money we've got another boar attacking us these boars are relentless they just will not leave me alone but we'll take you because i'm running a little bit low now we're just gonna pop you on the spit roast get you cooking nicely so let's see what we have over here so we have should be able to complete all of these so that's complete we should be able to complete that and we've completed that so that's the beginning all done so we can head over to mining now so we need to acquire five health potions five stamina and five mana we need ruby ore and we need iron ore as well and um, we do get some gold out of that and the best thing to do with that gold is to smelt it and sell it because it will be worth quite a lot let's have a look at the upgrade station see in fact not the upgrade station we want to see crafting upgrade station level two that's what we want the iron pickaxe and things like that so that's five thousand not quite got enough for that and we do want to move on to automation three as soon as we can which is five thousand twenty five and twenty five so what we're going to do is try and gather some more resources so we can do a few more drills um so we need okay so we've got enough copper ingot and iron ingots and we've got yeah we've got enough for two of those drills so we can try and find a copper deposit and an iron deposit and i think we'll put those on there so i know there is a deposit over here i'm not sure what that is there's a little bit down there to explore as well um that over there possibly is an iron one so let's go ahead over there we'll check that one out and hopefully that is an iron deposit don't really want to delve too far into anywhere where we're going to get ourselves into trouble yeah okay so i think we'll leave this for now um because we're going to get attacked by goblins that's okay they're attacking themselves which is my perfect chance to go in there and finish the job off perfect okay um these do hold some gold and some boar some cooked boar so that's pretty good i know there is a challenge for the cooked skulls at some point as well so that's pretty handy okay so let's head back i uh, don't want to delve too far into that direction at the moment I'm not quite equipped for it just yet so let's head on over here and see what we can find there was one down there there also is one a little bit closer over here so i'm gonna go ahead and use this potion before we get too involved these little goblins aren't too bad we can get rid of these relatively easy oh skull soup I'll definitely pick up these skulls because as i said i know there definitely is a quest for those a little bit later on so we'll just grab those as and when we can get ourselves some free money as well okay so looks like we have a nice big deposit over here we can use so that's also coal okay that's a little bit annoying i was looking for possibly an iron one uh we haven't got anything over here okay so we're definitely on the quest to try and find find an iron deposit or, or an iron ore deposit should i say i'm not sure how i got those mixed up the wrong way around but i did and let's see it's gonna have to be down there isn't it that's going to be the problem or oh, we've got a nice big orc over here we'll try and get rid of him as much as possible oh oh we did it just we only just did that it was getting a little bit rough towards the end i will go ahead and eat that soup the ball was not great for health replenishment but it will do for now where are we going from here is it i think it is going to be best just to go ahead and grab this one over here probably going to be worthwhile we'll just place a couple of drills down uh, what i might do is just dig a little path down here just to make it a little bit easier to get down so if you just tilt your pickaxe upwards and you just go ahead like that you should be able to uh, dig yourself out of a little hole so that's pretty good okay so what have we got over here we have iron perfect and what one have we got over here oh it's a nice destroyed anvil there we'll grab that this one is also iron okay so we've got a couple of iron deposits i think what we'll do is just use a small one we'll save the big one for when we're going to full automation but what i am going to do is see if we can get rid of this anvil uh apparently we can perfect we've got 12 ingots for that so that's good and we've got another goblin here we'll just get rid of him okay they are definitely relentless that's for sure 
so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop a drill here kind of trying to figure out if it's worth putting two down just so we can gather some resources pretty quickly um let's see how much coal well we've got yeah we could do i suppose we could put half in let's see how much iron we get out of this see if it's worth doing or not um we can we'll temporarily put a second one down just to speed up the process more than anything so we've got two going at the same time just makes it a little bit quicker yeah i think we should be able to get quite a lot of ore actually out of the 45 coal so i think we'll leave that running for a little bit um what i am going to do actually is place one of these oh we need some iron ore okay so let's go ahead and grab this iron ore and we'll grab this ore out of here as well so we're just going to place a beacon just down here and we're gonna yep rename that as iron that's fine by me you renamed it already um so that's good uh what we need to do is also head back up here we'll place another beacon down for the coal just so we know where that is although it is relatively easy to find we'll place a one down here let's head on up because i think we're gonna have to rename this one so we'll go ahead and rename this the coal beacon so we'll put that as the coal beacon perfect so now all we need to do is try and find some copper if we can find some copper we will be well on our way um until we get full automation so that's pretty good okay you just disappeared and we're gonna grab these perfect so we need a lot of iron and we also need some rubies as well so there is some ruby over there and there is some ruby up here as well so i don't want to explore too far because i'm definitely not prepped yet for anything so we're just going to go ahead and collect some rubies i think it was 20 maybe it was 20 can't remember off the top of my head we're just going to run around and collect this loose ruby all we could if we can get rid of these orcs without dying that will be absolutely brilliant because we can explore this little campsite because sometimes these campsites have decent stuff in them so i'm going to go ahead and do this i can see a ruby ore um, patch down there ruby's worth quite a little bit of money at the start that's definitely worth just running around and collecting it if we can uh we've got another orc over there and i think that might be all the orcs over here so we should be pretty lucky if we can go ahead oh there's two of them i didn't realize there was two of them but if we're quick enough we should be able to do this if we're lucky enough oh, i think we're doing it I think we might just get away with this oh perfect okay we've got a little goblin over here we'll just get rid of him quickly i'm not sure why you're attacking your own defensive wall but whatever floats your boat i guess well you were pretty easy to be fair okay so we're gonna harvest all of these guys and then we'll check out these chests We've got some gold there we can sell for a little bit. And there we go. Oh, I've got another one over here. Well, I don't understand why you're destroying your own camp. It's very odd. But here we go. Okay, so let's check out this quest. So rubies, sapphires, mana potions, coal. Lovely, a jubbly. Okay, so we might as well just get rid of that. And we might as well eat those soup. Just to give us a bit more space. Um what else have we got over here that we don't necessarily need and we can get rid of just so we can make some space i think we kind of need everything at the moment so we'll leave that there for now probably do just leaving that there it's not probably not worth it we've got an orc here that we can cheaply just we'll farm him he's stuck in the wall so why not you know get ourselves some free resources perfect thank you very much we will take those so there was two chests here yeah and then you've got this chest here which is silver and gold so lovely thank you very much for that and i think that was about it and i believe that's going to be a copper deposit possibly it could be iron though I could be completely wrong there um but we have got a ruby deposit over here um so we could just i don't know mine this for a little bit get ourselves some more rubies and then sell it possibly not really sure what's worth more so we've got copper over here we've got another copper over here perfect okay so let's put a beacon down here we know that this is going to be copper we've got this little goblin on its way over here we'll get rid of you pretty quickly thank you uh we'll take your skull I'm not too worried about the gold i'm trying to conserve room um but what we have over here is some more copper so perfect okay so we are going to mine some of this copper so i'm going to head back to our iron i'm going to grab one of those one of those drills and we're going to 
then transfer them over to the iron so um to the copper sorry i think that's what we'll do we'll take these hopefully they should be done by now so we'll have a full 200 iron yep so that's perfect and then we'll take this one as well uh we'll have to sacrifice this coal and then we're also going to have to sacrifice something else quite possibly because we need some space for our copper um we'll eat that for now we'll go ahead and grab that so what we need to do is we need to destroy this but i need to make some room otherwise we're going to lose everything we're just going to get rid of this earth shard sapphire gem is probably worth quite a little bit of money i'm trying to think what the best thing to sacrifice is because we kind of need them for quest but i'm going to get rid of those because we can buy those and they're probably pretty easy to buy so we're going to destroy those um that will give us our cogs and everything else yep so i'm going to head back to this copper we're going to do the same again so five and we need to copper beacon which is just down here so we don't get lost we've got some coal down oh we've got an big orc down here um i'm hoping we can run away you're gonna stay there no you're not gonna stay there that's not good okay come on then we're gonna fight you and hopefully we're gonna stay alive if i just keep no oh that was so close so close oh i can't believe we actually survived that that was so close um okay panic over let's get our health up otherwise we're not going to do we're doing very good i can feel someone else coming after me i'm sure i could hear footsteps but okay let's go ahead and build two of these so we're going to get these down we're going to put all of that in there um we're going to do the same over here that will create us some more room so we've got space for two of those i'm probably going to fill up this ruby um let's go ahead and get these going everything keeps attacking me these caves are absolutely ruthless okay thank you so let's go ahead and we're going to make sure we get a nice 100 ruby ore that'll give us some extra money we can just sell that as and when so yeah i think we'll just collect our two loads of copper i'll probably stock up the other spare space we've got in our inventory actually with the ruby and then we'll head back to base i think okay so here we are back at base and we've got a couple of stacks of iron a couple of stacks of copper and we've got a load of gold that we ideally want to shove in here so we can save some space uh, we've got a few extra to um, make some more money as well so let's go ahead and see what quests we can complete so we can complete this one which is perfect what else can we do we can't complete anything else i don't think at the moment um oh we do need that so we could complete that we can complete that as well so i think what we'll do is we'll get some stuff smelting and then we'll have a look and see what other research we want to go for next so let's go ahead and we will go ahead and make that one copper uh we'll go ahead and do the same for this one we'll shove that in there for copper um we will get rid of all of that iron and then i think what we'll do for this last one for now We'll get this gold smelted and then we'll probably just get rid of this silver and then we'll go ahead and smelt that into iron as well just so we can kind of make some inroads into making some more money with the gold and also the silver so let's have a look and see what research we need so we need 5,000 coins for this one which is definitely something we want to work towards we could probably also do with dwarven banking as well that might be something um we can aim towards we've probably got enough of that actually and we can get somewhere where we can actually store our gold and we need 5,000 for that so we need around about 10,000 to start with. So I think we'll go ahead and probably try and aim for making some more money. So I did explore um, in the last sort of series the ale farming, but with the amount of resources it actually takes, I don't think it's worth doing. It's actually worth just going ahead and smelting some iron and some copper and just selling that for some easy money. Um, so let's go ahead and grab our thousand coins we need go ahead and grab those um, we'll go ahead and get our dwarven vault um, research so we've unlocked that and we can find somewhere where we can actually start storing some money so i think what i'm going to do is find a nice little location so i might just expand out this way probably get rid of this stone probably expand out here 
and we'll make a little banking system over here i think okay so i've made a nice little area over here for our bank so let's go ahead and see what we need so fortress uh valuables there we go so dwarven bank deposit your riches and valuables and we've got coin storage as well so we can do all of this so i think what we'll do is we will put this guy over here i think is probably going to be a nice place to put him and then i think what we'll do is we'll put a couple of coin storage over here as well so we'll pop these over here so i'm not sure how much uh, so five thousand each yep that seems pretty good so we can keep this guy here as well so deposit valuable transfer valuable to your inventory deposit valuable okay not really sh oh okay so it just automatically puts it in so that says thirty thousand, which does equate to all of this so yeah storage ah okay so let's go ahead and grab the rest of it out of our chest and um, we'll pop this lot in here uh, deposit all from inventory there we go we have three thousand all right that's pretty cool pretty cool that we can just see it like that i definitely like that little feature so let's go ahead and we'll grab this gold out of here and we'll make some silver and then we'll go ahead and put that gold in there We'll put the iron in there and get that done as well so how's everything else doing so it's going quite slowly i think we should put some more fuel in here we'll go ahead and put 40 in that one this one's going as well so is that one and then yeah we've got this one here as well so the iron definitely smelts quicker than the copper i believe i'm not really sure what the difference is so we've got two ore to one two to one on that so yeah two to one on pretty much everything so that's fairly easy so we can't do anything with those uh, we're going to go ahead and do iron and we'll get rid of that lot as well so these rubies we can sell for a thousand sapphire 175 500 for the ruby gems we can get 600 for this so we've got another say 3000 altogether quite possibly so that would be pretty good we're a little bit closer to 5000 but we're definitely going to need some more so all of our ore is smelted and I think we're ready for the next step. So I've just expanded some foundations and there is a reason for this. And if you just hold on a little bit longer, I will explain what that reason is. But for now, we need to go ahead and make some more money. So we're going to go and get rid of just some of these extras that we've got. We're going to get rid of the silver, the gold, all of that lot. Uh, we're going to get rid of all of this as well. A bit concerned of where all my gold is going, is it? Just going automatically into storage. Ah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got 6,000. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to transfer all of this. Yep, perfect. Okay, so we're going to transfer all of that. We'll keep these rubies just for now. Uh, we're going to put them into storage actually so we don't go ahead and get rid of those accidentally somehow and what we're going to do is we're going to research the automation three so this unlocks the automation or the water pumps and all of that lot so we're going to go ahead and do that we do need 25 cogs and 25 iron plates so that's going to take a little bit of doing i completely forgot about those so we need 25 so we need 50 ingots i believe so we're going to go ahead and pop those in and we're going to split half of those that will give us that we probably could do with another blacksmith so i wonder if it's worth building another blacksmith so we can kind of do two at once it might be worth doing um where can we put him we'll put him just over here okay so he's doing the plates he's doing them we do need a few more ingots well that's slightly annoying because we haven't got any um okay so looks like i need to venture back in and grab some more iron ore we'll get that smelted and we'll get these plates and these cogs okay that's it we have everything we need so let's go ahead and get this researched so we're going to unlock that and now we have access to all of that and that leads me and that leads me to what this space is for so this is going to be for our belt containers so we're going to have one for coal one for copper and one for iron and then we have got the great task of setting up our drills and everything like that but we're going to need a few resources for all of that so we're going to need um two of the oil crushing smelters so we're going to need plenty of copper plates iron plates all of that lot and we're also going to need a whole load of spare copper ingots and iron ingots and everything like that so quite a mammoth task a lot of resources to gather so i think that will be a good time to end this episode 
I'm definitely preferring this sort of world, this seed, and this sort of playthrough. Um, it's going a lot smoother than the last sort of series was. So I'm pretty glad I started again. Um, let me know if you are on the same wavelength with me and you're happy to see what the new series brings. So I think we've got to a very good point here. So thank you all for watching at the moment. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe as well. All your support is greatly appreciated and helps me more than you can understand. So it's been Crypto here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next episode of Warbound.